tonight, students all across the state are heading back to school this week. In just a couple of hours from now, kids will be headed to class, ready to start the new year in Waterbury. Channel 3's Eva Zamaris joins us now. She's live at Crosby High School, where students will be arriving any minute. Good morning, Eva. Good morning to you both. It's hard to believe that summer break is already over, but the excitement has been growing ahead of the first day. Now here at Crosby High School, school starts promptly at 720 this morning and more than 1100 students will be returning to school today. And the superintendent of Waterbury Public Schools will be here soon after that, welcoming high schoolers back to school. It's always a bittersweet goodbye to summer vacation. But the start of the new school year brings with it the opportunity to learn new things and to meet new people. And here in Waterbury, students will be returning to school today to start the 2019-2020 academic year. The superintendent of schools will be making a few stops today, welcoming students and sharing in their excitement. She'll first be here at Crosby High School before continuing on to Wallace Middle School, which is not only a comprehensive 6th through 8th grade middle school, it's also home to the district's new 4th through 8th academic academy. Eyewitness News had the chance to speak with students ahead of the first day. They were crossing off those last-minute items on their to-do lists. I got uh, clothes like last week, but I haven't gotten my supplies yet because I have to like wait to find out what I need. School districts all across the state have been welcoming students back. Students in Farmington and in Hamden are among those kicking off their school year today. Again, students here in Waterbury will be going back to school today. I will have much more from Crosby High School coming up in our next half hour. And soon after that, students will be coming for their first day of school. Live in Waterbury this morning, I'm Evans Maris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.